Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for the 19th of April today. Uh, basically, our members on Wave5 Trade scanner membership for stocks uh, get both long and short signals every day on the weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame in the members area. They simply click on potential long trades, and as you can see each day, all the um, all the past um, signals are there as well and they just click on today's image and download the spreadsheet so have a look at the spreadsheet We've gone for longs today although futures are very flat at the moment um, so not many on the daily for longs at the moment but I have chosen one of these MDB on the long on the daily time frame so let's have a look at the chart okay why do I like this it's a new stock okay it only listed last year okay in the middle of October last year and then we came down and we found this double bottom okay and then we've had the big move up little wave one little pullback wave two and the big impulse leg wave three and now we've had some profit taking against that and that, that's what really interests me now. If that can find good support and start to move back up, we've got a good fifth wave move there. So some of the filters that we have on the stock signal membership is that the 535 oscillator pulls back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the wave three. So as you can see down here, we've just gone through the below the 90% now. So that meets one criteria. The other criteria for the filter is that the stochastic is in the oversold zone. It is in the oversold zone, but it hasn't crossed yet. So we're early days. So we've still got to find support there. We got that green indecision doji yesterday. What that needs to happen now is that that consolidation, that, that support level needs to hold. So also on the filters, the wave four pullback has come into a decent probability pullback zone. Now, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade for Ninja Trader. We also produce it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Multi Charts. Um, so, on our Indicator Suite, the Wave 4 has pulled back and found support in the amber zone here. So, that's an 80% probability if it finds support that it goes on to make a new Wave 5 high into our blue automated target zone here around about $49. So we've got to be a bit conservative here. We are early. It could pull back a little bit more into the red zone, but I think we're at a good congestion level if we look left on here as well. Really good support level here. So we're looking for this to hold and start to move away. Conservative entry is always, especially with a, a relatively new stock, is always advisable. We're going, uh, we have the six full moving average high in green here as part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite. So we want to make sure that we're above that for today's bar position. And to be honest, for future bar positions, because this is a really good entry level above the whole $42 mark. So $42.09 is the sensible entry. The stop loss is just below the wave four low, which is $37.81. And then the target is around about $49. So we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 with this potential trade. Uh, if the wave 4 does make slightly new lows, we're going to have to adjust. Um, so we've just got to keep an eye, adjust, maybe even adjust the entry slightly, uh, depending on how deep this comes. But at the moment, looks like we're getting a bit of exhaustion here. Could consolidate today and start to move up. Uh, in the coming week. So that's it for today. A potential long trade for the fifth wave move on MDB on the daily time frame from wave5trade.com. So have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.